Hi everyone, welcome back to my this chair. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is the hair look that I filmed today. It's a really beachy, soft, easy, quick hair tutorial. It's only been 20 minutes since I started filming. So it takes about 15 minutes to do a full head and I have thick hair. So if you wanna see how I created this look, I'm in such a time crunch, it's ridiculous. But anyway, if you wanna see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I literally have 10 minutes to film this, so I don't even know if this is gonna be successful, but we're just gonna go with it. So I've already washed and blow dried my hair. After I blow dried it, I clipped in my extensions and then I straightened my hair and my extensions together. The reason why I did that is because my hair is kind of frizzy after I wash it and blow dry it, so I didn't want the curls to be frizzy as well. So you don't have to straighten your hair, but if you like your curls or waves to be kind of glossy and less frizzy, obviously, straighten it. So what I'm gonna do first is just section off my hair into two pieces. You can section it off like as much as you want into four pieces, whatever kind of feels more comfortable for you. I just do two because I'm lazy. So I'm just gonna keep this top half up here and then I section it in the back. So straight down the middle and bring the two sides forward. I'm just gonna brush through them first. I'm literally wearing a pajama top and tracksuit bottoms and I have a train to catch in like half an hour. So I don't know why I'm always rushed. Anyway, okay. So the styling tool that I'm using today is the GHD Curve Soft Curl Tom. And I've used this twice before. I was only sent it about a week ago and I really am impressed with it. It heats up really quickly and it heats up really hot. So it styles your hair really quickly. I do use heat protectant before I blow dry my hair and I'm assuming that will kind of help with the heat of the curler as well. Probably not, but uh, let's just hope. So my curlers already heat up and I take about an inch size section of hair. So the thicker the section of hair is, the looser the curl is gonna be. And the smaller the section is, the tighter the curl is gonna be. And I wrap my hair flat around the barrel. Oh my God, I just burnt myself. By the way, this is really hot, so just be careful. So I wrap my hair flat around the barrel. I don't twist my hair and wrap it around. And I also wrap it away from my face, like you can see. So I hold it in my hair for about five seconds, because I like it to be loose. And I leave the ends out, so I leave them straight. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. You can so tell I'm rushed. Oh! So about an inch section, actually it's probably about two inches, but you get my drift. So I'm wrapping it flat instead of twisting it like this. So flat around the barrel, that's kind of twisted. And then I leave the end bit out just because I want it to be more beachy. If you like a real curly blow dry effect, then curl the end bit as well. And let it drop. I could be going on the train with half curled head and half not. <gasps> so again, the same thing, wrap around flat and I'm wrapping it away from my face, like I said, instead of curling it in towards my face. I just prefer the effect when it's curled away. You can kind of alternate the curls and curl one towards and one away from your face if you want it to be kind of messy, but I like when they kind of um, like mesh into each other throughout the day. You can see how quick this like curls your hair. It's actually insane. It's so good for someone like me who's always running late. And I also don't mind if the back pieces aren't as curly. Once the front pieces are done, then I don't really mind. Also my extensions that I'm wearing are the Foxy Locks Deluxe Seamless Clip-Ins in 22 inch. And I've kind of been mixing between Latte Blonde and Platinum Blonde just because I got my hair colored recently. And I do tone my hair, so I just kind of have a look at it on the day and see which ones suit. I kind of have the platinum and the plat platinum what? I have the platinum and the latte blonde clipped in my hair today just to kind of mix it up because I have a few different colours throughout my hair. So that's the first side done and I don't run my fingers or anything through it yet. So I'm gonna do the exact same on this side. I find it harder on this side. Ugh. So flat around the barrel and keep the ends out. What time is it? <laughs> you can see that the pieces I'm taking are getting thicker because I have less time. So it said on the instructions for this curler that you only need to wrap the hair around it for five to eight seconds. Obviously, if you've got a really small piece of hair, then I'd say you could even do three seconds. 
Oh my god, okay, this piece is way too thick, so this probably won't curl properly, but we shall see. And I always keep the barrel facing down like this. If you put it to the side, you get more volume in your hair, but I kind of have thick hair, and I find if I blow dry my hair, it gives it even more volume. So I don't want to add any more, because my hair will just be like, oof. So that's both sides of my hair done, and I've only been filming for nine minutes, so that just shows how quick this curler actually works, and how hot it obviously is. So I'm gonna take down the top half of my hair, and I don't have a bobbin, so I'm just gonna twist the rest of it so I don't get confused. God, I'm so professional. So I do the exact same thing when I take down this part of my hair. I split it in the back, brush through, and then take out the section from each side. So when I'm doing the top half of my head, I actually start from the back first. I don't know why, I just find it a little bit easier. And I'm still curling away from my face, even when I'm doing the top half of my head. So for the front piece of my hair here, I just wrap it really lightly and I don't keep it in for as long because I don't like these pieces to be really curly. I just like them, like them. I just like them to have a little bit of a wave. I actually have a kink here and I'm too lazy to go upstairs to get my GHD straightener, so I'm gonna try to straighten it with the barrel because I'm in a time crunch, honey. Okay, so it's the same on the other side, starting from the back. This could be the quickest tutorial that I've ever filmed. It's only been 11 minutes. I'm not sure in the price of these curlers, but I will look up the price and I'll leave it on the screen here now. They do have one, I think it's called the Wave um, Wand or something like that, and that's next on my list. I think that looks really cool, and that gives really nice soft waves in the hair. You can achieve them with this as well, but if you're into your hair styling tools, and you'd like to have a few, then have a look on the website because there's actually so many. This is not sponsored, by the way. They sent me out the curlers, obviously, for free, um, but they didn't ask me to film or really post about it. They just said, use it, see how you like it. And I really, really like it. So far, I've only been doing this for 13 and a half minutes and I have basically my whole head done. Like, it's actually insane. And again, coming to the front, I'm actually gonna section these little pieces off. And I'm only going to wrap it around once or twice and keep it in literally for like three seconds. So <laughs> that was successful. Look at this. I'm going to take out that out. And then once I have everything curled, there's kinks here, so I'm just going to go over them with this again to kind of straighten it. This is what happens when you're doing your hair in a rush. So then after I finish, I literally just run my fingers through it until I like the results of it. And this just kind of makes it more messy and more beachy. So I don't actually use any products in my hair just because I don't want to make my extensions crunchy. And I prefer when the hair has no product in it. I just like when it's softer. So the only thing that I actually use is the John Frieda Frizz Ease 100% Shine Glossy Mist. You can see... Like this is well used and I just go hell for leather with this because I get my hair coloured. <coughs> so the bleach obviously dries out my hair and it's hard to get a natural shine if you colour your hair blonde and this just gives it such a nice shine. And it doesn't make it greasy but I do avoid my roots when I spray it. So this is the hair straight after you curl it and kind of mess around with it. It does fall a little bit if you don't put hairspray in like me, and I prefer that. So it's a little bit poofy right now compared to what it will be in like 15 minutes. But this is kind of a beachier style and kind of more wavy, and so far it's been 18 minutes since I start filming. So that's how quick it is to achieve this. But yeah, this is the finished hair look. I haven't done a hair video in so long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm in such a good mood because it's so sunny out and I'm just about to go to Galway. <laughs> if you have any other video suggestions of what you'd like me to film, then please leave them in the comments down below. Um, I am gonna do a makeup tutorial probably next, or maybe a makeup haul or clothing haul. Just let me know what you'd like to see. But yeah, that is it from me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.